Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Dee. I'm a Saint Beauty artist and a lover of all things beauty. So here on my channel, I do a variety of different things, obviously, mostly all related to beauty. I do a lot of skincare, I do a lot of DIY lashes, and pretty much anything and everything under the sun. I am a working mama, so my life is very busy and hectic. I do this YouTube channel as an outlet, creative outlet, but then also, I know you guys are just as busy as me. Money is tight, inflation is here, all that stuff, and so I just like to kind of share things that I come across that either make my life easier or just I really like, or hey, it didn't work for me. So today I'm really excited because I, I've been absolutely loving this product. Ever since it came out a couple months ago, I jumped on the bandwagon, I purchased them, and then I ended up purchasing one, and I was like, oh my gosh, this formulation is amazing. And then I ended up purchasing almost every single one. So, sorry, I've got like an itch in my nose. But today I'm gonna talk about the Cinegents Hydra Matte. So if you don't know what Cinegents is, Basically every, not everybody, but if you know anything about Cinegents or have ever heard of it, they have the regular line, which is lip sense. So it is a, you put three light coats on your lips and then you go in with like a glossy or a top coat and you kind of seal it in. And I have absolutely loved them. Like this is, when I say I love something, so this is all the lip scents. So I am, and this is, I went through, like I used to have a lot more colors and these are the colors that I actually use. And then they also have shadow senses. So they have like eyeshadows and stuff like that. So, and then here's my other liquid lipstick. So I am a liquid lipstick gal. I do not like regular lipsticks. I very rarely ever wear them, but I absolutely love liquid lipsticks because I don't have time to reapply my lipstick throughout the day. I want something that I can do in the morning that's gonna last me a good long part of the day that I'm gonna be able to eat and drink and do all that stuff and not have to worry about it. And so I've always been, as soon as there's like a new liquid lipstick, I'm like, okay, I have to try it. So that is basically what everybody, or if you've ever heard of Lip Sense, that is their first line. And I still really, really love it. But what I don't like about it is they're glossy, shade or their glossy top coat is absolutely amazing. And one thing that I love about it is it's super, super hydrating, but they also have a matte top coat, but it is not as good as the glossy one. So with these lip scents, they are very, very drying and you have to have a top coat in order to seal it and, and, and seal it, but then also get rid of that super drying formula. So you have to use a top coat. So it's kind of like a two part thing. Um, but also their matte top coat just doesn't give enough hydration and it's not very comfortable to wear throughout the day. And plus you have to continuously reapply the top coat as it dries out. So it's not the end of the world. I really, really like it, but sometimes I just like a matte liquid lipstick. I, that's what I prefer. I prefer matte. I prefer something that I don't have to reapply. So when they came out with these Hydra Mats, I was like, okay, I got to jump on the bandwagon. So the first one that I picked up, what did I end up picking up? I think it was Makeup Mob that I picked up. So they end up having, they have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have seven colors. I have every single one of them except, I think it's called Nude Honey, because I felt like it was a little bit too nudey for my skin, um, just because of my, my skin, but I have all the other ones. So I wanted to do some swatches. Somebody who's not a Cinegents rep, who's not selling it, who is just regular girl next door, I felt like this video might be really helpful in case you wanted to jump on the bandwagon, but maybe you want a different take than somebody who is an actual Cinegents rep. So hopefully this video helps you. So a couple things I absolutely love. I, the first thing is, let's start it. Hopefully I'm not all over the, the place with this video because I haven't had enough caffeine this morning and it's, it's just one of those days. But, so when I first got it, I got Makeup Moth and I will swatch it here for you so you guys can see. Um, and I really, really liked it. So this is Make It Mauve, and as you can see, it is a pretty purple color. So it's it's mauve, like that's what it is. It is very dark on the lips, and it was a little bit too vampy for me, but I really do think that in the fall, I'm gonna love this color. But what I like about these is not only are they comfortable, not only are they easy to apply, but you can also mix them. So there's a couple ways that you could do it. You can put it on your hand like this, and before it dries, you can put another one and mix it and then apply it with like a brush or whatever. You can apply it with your fingers, whatever works for you. Or some, what I do is like I have Bella, 
I just put Bella around my lips and then I went in with Milk Rose and kind of put it on and went like that. And so there's different ways that you can like line your lips and stuff like that. Hopefully I don't say stuff like that anymore. But there's different ways that you can apply it. You can mix it to create a custom shade or you can kind of layer it or do like an outline, like line your lips in one color and then fill them in with another. So I really, really like that. This one is, I love the Make It Mauve when I mix it with Chilled Pink because it, it gives it a very unique color, but it also tones that down that vampiness. So it's not as like vampy. I'm very fair skinned, so this on me is very vampy. So I really like that one. Let me go ahead and swatch the Chilled Pink. So this is Chilled Pink. This one on its own, I was a little bit nervous about because I am so fair, I felt like it might wash me out, but I really, really like it. I wore this to church this past Sunday. It, even my daughter was like, I really like your lipstick. And I'm like, yeah, right, it's okay. So even if you're a fair girl, I think you can still pull this off without getting washed out. But like I said, you can always line it like with Milk Rose or another one, a darker color, and then put this in the middle to kind of get that ombre effect. So there's versatility in it, but you can also darken it up. But Chill Pink to me is one of the colors that I think that everybody should have if you're gonna pick more than one. Get chilled pink as well, chilled pink as well, because this is a great mixer. It will tone it down just a little bit, and you'll be able to create a custom sh a color, but you can like um, make it lighter. So I really, really like that one. The next one, and this is in no particular order because I, I do like all of them, and I'll tell you the the two that I wear the most um, as I come up on them. But this one is the color milk rose. So this is the one that just hit. Recently, this is the last one that hit. I was like, yes, I, I texted my lady and I was like, yep, I want this one. This is the one that I have in the middle of my lips. So I outlined it in Bella and then I put this on top. You can't really see the difference of it because I kind of mixed them together, but I love this color. This to me is my everyday color. This will be my everyday kind of neutral color that I wear. It is so comfort, like comfortable, but then also it's just a perfect color for me. Now, if you are somebody who is a little bit darker, this is gonna come up obviously lighter on your skin. It might be a little bit more nude, but this one is just a beautiful matte kind of shade. Next we have Bella. And so Bella again is um, the second color that I would say I use pretty much every single day um, before I got Milk Rose and it's right here. This is an ant bite. Don't judge me. I got that by ant and it won't go away. Um, but this is Bella. So you can see the difference between Bella and Milk Rose. Bella is definitely darker. It's got more of a brown pigment where Milk Rose is definitely a little bit more of that nudie color. But still, if you're like not sure which one to get, I would say Bella or Milk Rose are probably the most neutral. Then we have Velvet. So Velvet is very dark, um, very, very vampy. And so if you're somebody who is like African-American, I think this color would go gorgeous on you. But again, the beauty of it is you can milk, mix this with Milk Rose. It will create a really pretty color. You can mix it with Chill Pink, and get a little bit more of a pinky color. It just is one of those things. Now, I also have worn this as like that 90s kind of look. And it's also a great one to outline your lips. So if you're wanting to do kind of that liner look, velvet is awesome for that. And then you can use one of the colors to kind of fill it in. Last but not least is blue red. So I love the fact that they came out with a color that is different. Like I feel like the colors that they chose are so beautiful because the blue red obviously is very different, but there's a color that will fit where everybody. So no matter what your like go to shade is, I feel like there's a color that you can find that you are comfortable wearing every single day. If you're somebody like me that likes the neutral stuff, if you like more of a pinky look, if you're a darker skin tone and need, you know, more of a mauve or the velvet, or if you want to go bold and do the blue red, this is beautiful as well. Now I will tell you, these colors here fade out really, really well. So you never get that, and I hate to say it, but I don't know how else to describe it, like that that rim, rim around your lips, like where it starts breaking out, out in the middle of your lips and then you just have this outline. You're never gonna get that. Even with the blue red, it's never going to be super prominent. Um, where you feel like you're wearing lip liner, like at the end of the day, but the blue red does not 
fade as pretty as the rest of them. You will have a little bit more distinction, especially depending on how much you eat and stuff like that. It's not going to fade evenly. The rest of the colors I feel like really, really fade, fade beautifully where I don't feel like I have to reapply or if I, at the end of the day, I don't have to scrub it off my lips. The other thing I like about it that makes it a little bit different than regular mattes is you can reapply on top of it. So if you start seeing it break it down or the color's not as vibrant, you don't have to scrub it off your lips and oh, my shoulders like, oh my God, oh my God, my shoulder hurts. But you don't have to scrub it off your lips and reapply it. You can go ahead and reapply a second layer even though it's breaking up. So that's another thing that I love about it because it makes it super travel friendly. But if you are going to an event or you're going to a work meeting or whatever and you don't have anything to like scrub your lips, not a big deal. You just apply it on. The other liquid lipstick that I've tried, like Jaclyn Cosmetics, I've got other brands. Um, I do feel like you have to kind of take the first layer off. Otherwise it gets a little choppy and it doesn't like apply as well. And it starts breaking up evenly. These do not do that. Probably the most thing that I love about these and what makes them so different than anything else on the market that I have tried is the fact that they are super comfortable. Now I have met, I have worn other, like the Jaclyn Hill the Jaclyn Cosmetics ones are super comfortable to me. I feel like these are really, really comfortable. These are the most comfortable that I've ever felt. But the thing that stands out for me is I cannot wear any other liquid lipsticks every single day without my skin or without my lips starting to get chapped and dry and crack. I have very, very dry lips. And even though I love liquid lipsticks, they are beating on my lips. I find that I can wear these Hydra Mats every single day. I do not have to scrub them any more than I normally do. I usually exfoliate, exfoliate them once a week. I wear, um, I, I always say it wrong, the Liange. I'll put it like a picture here so you know. I wear the sleeping mask every single night. I always do that regardless, but I don't feel like I need any more. I don't hydrate my lips any time during the day, but every single time I wear these and I've worn them every single day for the past, I, I shouldn't say that. I've worn them almost every single day. Full disclosure, there are some days where I don't wear makeup and I don't wear lips, but I have worn them very consistently almost every single day and they have not done anything different to my lips. I don't feel like my lips are any more dry. They're not peeling, they're not cracking, they're not chafing or anything like that. I cannot and I have never been able to say that with any other liquid lipsticks. So if you're somebody like me who has very dry lips and liquid lipsticks, are beating on your lip, definitely give these a try because I really, really think that they're going to work. And if, especially if you're looking for an everyday liquid lipstick, these are going to be, these are going to be it. Now they are not affordable. They are $32 each. So as you can, as you can see, I'll spend a little bit on it. But what I like about it is if you like the Synagens one, it's about the same price because you have these two right here that you have to purchase together because the lip set, or I said the Synagens one, the lip sense ones you have to purchase two. This one, you only need one. That's it. You don't need a top coat. You don't need a lip liner. You don't need anything else. You're one and done. So um, yes, it is not the cheapest thing on the market. There are other liquid lipsticks that are, are much more affordable, but I think with the versatility of it, the way that you can layer them on, the fact that you do not have to scrape it off in order to get a, a second layer, and the fact that they are super, super comfortable and they do not dry your lips out or make them chafed or chapped or peeled, to me that's a winner and I will pay $32 all day long. Um, now granted, I was just talking about budgets tight. Like if they come out to any, with any more colors, I'm probably not going to purchase any more because even though I love the formula, I feel like these colors, I've got everything that I need in um, the, these colors. So I think they did a really good job of picking out the colors that are very standard and that pretty much everybody, no matter what color or what color you gravitate to, there's something here for you. Um, but I just absolutely love them. I've talked about them on my Instagram. I cannot say enough good things about them, but especially if you are somebody like me who has dry lips and you're looking for an everyday liquid lipstick that doesn't rape your lips, these are it. So yeah, hopefully that video helped you. Let me know if you've ever tried these. Please leave your comments below so that other viewers know. Um, this is my opinion. So if you tried them and you're like, they're crap, I want to hear that down below, what you thought about them, the longevity, all that stuff, because this is just my opinion. I hope that this is an educational video. But if you're interested or have any questions, please leave them below. I will put the lady that I use, that I purchased all my Synagents from. Her name is Lauren. She's absolutely amazing. And she 
does more in-depth tutorials about how to mix them and all that stuff. So if you're interested in this line, definitely follow her on Instagram because she's got a wealth of knowledge and she really does a really good job of um, just so showcasing the different products and the versatility of each product. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Until next time, bye.